Hey there Aries, it's Angie the Feisty Butterfly and today I'm going to do a general reading for you guys in the collective. So it's for Aries, Sun sign, Moon sign, North Node, Jupiter, Venus. You know which ones are your cross signs. Take a look if it doesn't resonate, try your other sign. We're going to get right to it. This is the core, the essential issues for you right now. So, okay, Aries, let's take a peek. Huh. Okay. All right, right now you have center coming up for you, the Hierophant, faith. It is the time to have more faith. Level that up big time. Look to those who might be able to teach you. Sometimes the Hierophant comes to us when it's time for us to learn and to grow. It's definitely in the spiritual domain. So this is time for you to take action on that to go internal. You have the Ten of Cups, happy family times. This is a prereq for this. This came up upside down. I don't generally read reversals, but this is a prereq. This is what the, the caution, the reminder, the extra knowing needs to be. The Ten of Cups can be there for you. It can be very happy family time in your home and all around you with your family of origin extended in the one you're creating now. You and your partner, you and your partner and kids. It can be very, very, very joyful time for you. Lots of love everywhere. There might be lots of chaos going on too, Aries, but it's time to level up faith-wise. Get your spirit groove going. Ace of Wands. Okay, this is that fiery energy, that beginning start. It has this kind of gecko, not gecko, I don't know. I don't know if it's Gila Monster. It, it's that lizard. You know that lizard. The dry as the desert, desert survive a volcano lizard. Ace of Wands. Lots of fiery stuff happening. Things are brewing. Things are happening, shifting. There is a desire that is a passionate desire that's heavy in you right now that you want to get to. You feel like you have backburnered it for too long. It's about to blow. It needs to come forward. It, it is feeling volcanic. Let this energy fuel you forward in a right direction. Look at this coloring. Okay. That's about you. We're going to look and see if there's anything situational in here for you. Okay, I'm only getting two out of this one for right now for you. So Aries, let's take a peek and see what's going on that might be situational, might be challenging you. <laughs> okay, I've never seen this happen before. This deck has two stars. It's done by the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. The Eight Coins Girl is a tattoo artist that decided to do a tarot deck. One of them was the earlier creation so in her deck is extra cards. I leave them in. You have both stars. You, you couldn't have more luck on your side. And this is definitely the sign of hope. Luck is on your side and intuition. Very psychic card. Get your spirit groove on. It is timely and important for you. If you don't get twice the message there, I don't know any way to give it to you. So the challenge for you is to get your spiritual groove back. Okay, we're going to take from the Angel Tarot next. We're going to see what's bookending your week here in a minute. I'm just going to keep going until I feel like... Okay, we're going to go to here. Until I feel like we've got the message that you need. Okay. All right, Aries, you have one and four. One is the Magician, four is the Emperor. The Magician, Archangel Raziel, says, you are ready. You have the resources, the ability to manifest, life is magical. In all the tarot decks, they show the Magician with the four elements, having the capacity and the knowledge to know how to use those, to maneuver things, to use 
any of the elements and make the combinations that need to happen to move forward. Game on. I mean, really. The Emperor, Archangel Michael, says organization, logic, structure, discipline, leadership. That would be part of the challenge. This is where you're going to need to be going in your head, okay, Aries? Don't just let the fire overtake. Get some structure to it. Get some order to it. Put it down. Create something that is structural to you that is going to work for you. Take a little bit from the good tarot. to the side and we'll take a peek this is going to be post-it notes to yourself reminders maybe it's things you already know truths you might already know or areas you already need to work on that you know that maybe you've been they haven't been so hidden but they need to be reclaimed and recovered things about your life going on that way let's take a peek oh my gosh okay you have the five of earth five of earth is about lack sometimes about feeling like we can't make it happen or we're on the outside we just are feeling a little disjointed not quite ready to grow well you're ready to grow you are so ready so ready the star again third star i've never seen three stars in reading never you know the message of this if this doesn't give you a kick in the pants nothing's going to the four of air four of air is usually four of swords in tarot it's time to rest for a moment regroup retreat be calm, be still, get centered. Get rid of this lack mindset, get grounded. Use that, conserve your resources and use them well. Get structure. You know the things you need to do to move forward. This isn't even hard for you right now. I mean, probably just seeing some of this image is just okay. Three stars, holy cow. Take it on. It is definitely time, Aries. Take it on. With structure, with grace, with order. Precise, laser in focus. You can do it. It's a very, very blessed time. I can't think how it would be more lucky for you at all. So if you've got a dream or something you want to pursue, get your spirit groove on and go for it. Okay, that's what I've got for you today. Thank you so much. Take care. Subscribe and like. Come again. Bye-bye.